man, what's going on Facebook? What's up? What's up? What's happening? It's your man Jerry back again. Hey, listen, so uh, let me wait just a second for my feed. My feed is always choppy in the beginning. And then the wind wants to come and pick up too at the same time. So let me give that a second to breathe, literally. <laughs> so what's going on? You know how I, how I do? Replay gang down in the comment section. What's up, Dwayne? How you doing, brother? But yeah, it is a great time to be alive. What's up, Nikki? How you doing? What's up, Kazo? So yesterday, and excuse the wind if you hear that, but I mean, I can't control the elements. We out here in the beautiful sunshine, beautiful North Carolina. Y'all go ahead and drop in where you're tuning in live from. Go ahead, drop in where you're tuning in live from down in the comments. And uh, I'm going to get to this conversation really quick. What's up, Ola? That's my mama. Yeah, I call her Ola. You know why? Because I was actually looking at my baby book last night. Yes, my baby book. And it just threw me off because that thing is as old as I am. Yes, mama, I still got the baby book. And it says during my first haircut, my first haircut, y'all, my mom wrote in there um, that I would cry the entire time and I call for her name, Ola. <laughs> I think it said, I forget how old it said I was, but I was old enough to vocalize. I was old enough to vocalize my mama's name. What's up, Kafrida? From and why? What's up, S. Dot? Oh, S. Dot Patel, what's going on? I ain't seen you since college days, man. Nikki, what's up? Tuning in from NC State Biochemistry. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm talking about. That's when your family doing it major. And you just be like, man, that's what's up. That's what's up. Raleigh, North Carolina is in the building. But yeah, let me get into my content. So yesterday I talked about distractions and how that's keeping you from your life goals and your dreams and how that's stealing uh, your potential to really live life. And today I want to talk about something because there are some people that just don't have those life goals. There are some people that don't have life goals, so they don't really have anything to be distracted from, right? So that's kind of crazy. But is it really? Because, listen, we live in the best time. That is the best time for anybody our age and our generation with what we have growing up. You know, a lot of us, a lot of my people, a lot of my friends and my peers, we aren't silver spoon. You know, we grind. We get to where we are right now based off of grit, based off of grind, nose to the grindstone. Pat and Charlie, we used to have, most of the people that I'm with, man, we had to walk to the bus stop to get to somewhere where we had to go. And now we live in houses, driving cars that we never thought that we could have uh, applied for and that never could have gotten. You know, now we own in houses. Now we buying back the block and we never thought we could get to that point. But the greatest time to be alive, number one reason is the Internet. You know, listen, you're listening to my voice right now. I'm tuning in. I'm from Wilmington, North Carolina on the East Coast, uh, right there by the ocean. <laughs> okay, like right in the middle of, of America. We call it the Middle East. You know, and I, and I watch people say, what? You're from the Middle East? You don't have an accent? <laughs> I love that, but we right in the middle, right? So the fact that, that, you know, I got people tuning in from all over the world, you know, all the way out in Washington, you know, is it in why? You know, that's why I wanted y'all to shout out where you, where you are actually listening to my voice from. What's up, Rob? What's up? What's up, Charlie? What's up, Chad? Anybody else I miss? What's up, Marcus? What's up, y'all? Thank y'all for tuning in, showing your boy some love. And excuse the wind out here on this wonderful day. But yes, we're living the best time because you have access to a tool that only the wealthy used to have access to, the internet. That makes this a now a connected economy, okay? What do I mean by connected economy? Listen, we got Uber replacing taxi. What's up, Ray Ray? What's up, Reggie? Uber has replaced taxis and Uber now owns zero taxis, but now has the largest taxi service in the world. What does that mean? We're in a connection-based economy. It's all about internet. It's all about apps. It's all about development. It's all about being able to go viral. It's about being able to leverage the fact that I can refer you to something, you can refer your friends to something, and now I didn't have to pay for a billboard up on the, on a, you know, on the side of the road anymore. We live in the best times that you can ever have to be alive. Nobody has to worry about you know, 
these these Jim Crow laws, these segregation laws, and things like that anymore. Uh, you know, you don't have to worry about, you know, as far as business goes, you can just go out and mow grass. Like everybody, all these yards that you see, somebody done. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's a million dollar industry by itself. Yes, you can earn a million dollars cutting grass, opening up your own lawn care business, and nobody can tell you no anymore. We live in the best times, but see, some people don't have the ability to take full advantage of the situation. And that's who I'm talking to. I'm talking to somebody right now that wants to, wants more out of life, but just don't know where to start. I'm talking to that person that is like, you know, I wake up every morning, I go to work, I pay bills, I go to sleep. That's all I'm doing. And I feel like I'm not really living to my full potential. And you're absolutely right. You're not because you're not taking advantage of this connected economy. So if you were taking advantage of this connected economy, you would know Airbnb owns no hotels, but has the largest uh, reservation system in the world. But they own not a single hotel. How crazy is that? And there's actually people that will sublease a, sublease a house, like some of these houses that you see me walk by right now. Nobody lives in them. Somebody has came in and... They got the lease, they got an option and a contract to sublease this place, meaning that they want to rent it, but they don't want to live there. They want to lease their lease to somebody else. The landlords, they say, sure, I'm cool with it as long as you can pay to as long as you can pay for any damages and anything like that. And then they get in and then they Airbnb these places. Okay? So if I if I lost you, let me try one more time. You go to somebody that has a for sale by owner. You get a subleasing contract that allows you to sublease that property so that way you don't actually live in there but you're paying rent there now you put you list that place on Airbnb you throw furniture in there you hook it up with Wi-Fi make sure the water's running you got electricity running it looks nice and ready to live in you put that place on Airbnb and then you can rent that sucker out for $80 a day now your rent is only $20 a day and you're renting it out for $80 a day so what if you even what if you don't rent it out for a whole week? It's okay because you're still making bread. You make it more than what you're renting for. This is the best time to be alive, my good people. And if you don't have another way, and I mean that might cost you some bread. That might cost you some money, of course. And so like if you're still working a job, you're still trying to make ends meet, you may not have that bread. And so what I'm here to do is help bridge that gap between paychecks that people are working hours for dollars and assets which are working for you what's up zach oh man y'all gotta check out his zach facts man i checked i just uh started really following this man he's got a lot of heat y'all check out zach shahid shahid zach shahid uh and what's up robert exactly they too busy chasing the wrong paper Ooh. Y'all follow my millionaire partner, Miss Griffin, man. She she got the real, she got the knowledge. Cause listen, you can be really good at flipping a burger, right? But that's a hustle. A hustle is something that you're gonna have to trade your actions for the paper. That's a hustle. You can be really good at braiding hair. That's a hustle. You do one thing, you get paid for it, you know. But you gotta get good at the long term paper. Cause Warren Buffett, <laughs> he don't hustle. You know, his money hustle for him. Think about that. Bill Gates, he don't hustle. His businesses hustle for him. You got to get to a point where you're no longer hustling. You are actually you, you are actually in a position where your business is working for you. What's up, Rock Bird? Oh, that's my cuzzo. Oh, my God. I love the family love right now. See y'all visions. What's up, my guy? What's up? He's so nice with them. Can't, yo, voted. I think he voted like one of the best videographers in the state. So shout out to you. Thank you for watching. And, um, but yeah, it, it's a great thing, man. It's a great time to be alive because you have access to be in this connected economy. Now, if you don't have a way to get access to, to being a part of this connected economy, I do have a way for you to participate, okay? Because you have to think about the millions of people that are in financial disparity right now. There are millions of people with a 599 or less credit score. And I know it's boring to talk about credit. I know it's boring. But is it so boring when you get denied for that house that you had your eyes on? Is it boring when, you know, you just test drove, drove that car and they say, yo, you can't get it. You ain't got funds. It's not boring then. It comes real important then, right? You know, it's kind of like insurance. Like nobody wants to pay life insurance. Nobody wants to pay insurance on a car. But when you get in a wreck, who the first people you call? 
yo, all state, state farm, right? But nobody wants to pay them high premiums. But guess what? Insurance is a tool of the wealthy because the wealthy know that eventually they are going to need it. And the wealthy know that they don't want to pay out of pocket. They'd rather put it off on the insurance company and get that bread. It's a tool that the wealthy uses. I used to sell insurance, y'all, for, for uh, man, some of the t- for the number one agency in the country. Right here at Carolina Beach, it used to be an agency. It's not there no more because they sold. They sold the company. But I used to sell insurance for the number one agency in the country for home and for car insurance. You might not, you might, I might have sold you a policy. You don't even know it. These people are so good because they understood the connection economy. They used to put ads on Google and all you would do is you would put your information in in these little landing pages and then somebody like me would call you back. Did they have to run, you know, their spot in the yellow pages or on the radio? No. They put their ad on Google. Google connected them to me. And I saw them, I put my information in, and boom, you know, years later, now they're a number one agency. Okay? So that's how this works is you have to find a way to get your product and service in front of everybody else. Now, if you don't have a product or service, you got to think about what's something that everybody needs. Everybody needs credit. And that's something that you don't have to have a license for necessarily. You know, you don't have to pay any kind of fees because if you want to be a licensed agent. Shout out to my guy, uh, Mr. Leonard out in Seattle, Washington. He's actually part of the movement as well. He just became a life agent. He was like, man, it costs like $400 to become a life insurance agent. $400. Ain't no promise that he gonna make that money back. You know, but I know he will because he a grinder. Uh, (laughs) Aw. Thanks, Ali. That means a lot. What's up, Mariah? That That means a lot to me. But I know he's going to make it back. But listen, when I tell people that, look, this opportunity that I have to become a uh, credit repair affiliate is only $60 to get started. And that gets you your own website. That gets you access to corporate discounts. You, I just I just put one of my guys on. He's shopping for a car. I just put him onto one of our portals that we got in the back office just because he's an affiliate. Now he gets cash back when he buys a car and he gets the car on a deal. He gets a deal on the car and cash back. That kind of cash back, you can take your family on vacation just because you were a part, just because you were an affiliate. You know what I'm saying? Only $60 a joint. But anyway, now you get to help empower the economy. Look at all these houses. You know what I'm saying? Let them walk in by. Just think about what it takes to get in one of these. You know, they don't care that you were a 4.0 in high school. They don't care that you're a good parent. They don't care that you're a good father, good mother. They don't care that you keep the house clean. You know, they don't even care how much you make nowadays. They want to see your credit score. And there's errors on people's credit right now, and they don't even know it. But to actually dispute it and get it off, it goes through a process. It's got to be a process. You can't just call Experian and be like, yeah, this thing is on my credit. I want it off because you didn't go through a verified, certified process. So it might come off one time, but because you didn't do it certified, they don't have proof. And it goes, it's going to come right back on there. Now, when you go through a company like what we do, we do certified letters, we do uh, the official mailings, we do the official documentation using known laws. Thanks to the shout out to the Fair Debt Record, uh, Reporting Act of uh, 1970, we use known laws to get these things off of your credit. So we're talking student loans, foreclosures, short sales, liens, tax liens, y'all. I have one of my friends had a bankruptcy come off their credit report after only three years. You know them things are supposed to stay on your report for seven. Now they are, and then they went and bought a home. Like, think about this. They wouldn't be able to, they would still be renting right now, throwing away money, building no equity because they had a bankruptcy in a report. But what we were able to do is get them in a, in a, in a place where now we're disputing things that are negative and erroneous. But see, we know it's not just about removing the negative stuff. It's also about adding the positive stuff. So we also have access to secure credit cards that don't require credit. We have trade lines that don't require credit. You know, I can help you get $9,000 in trade lines. That's going to boost up your available credit, and that's going to lower your credit utilization ratio, which is another factor that they use in credit. Come on, y'all. I, I don't mean to get all so deep on you. I just wanted to let you know I know my stuff. You know, I'm not trying to impress you. I'm just trying to give y'all some knowledge, some things that y'all can look up, some things that y'all can utilize, right? I don't mean for this to be a long thing, but I just want y'all to know we live in the best time to be alive, but you have to play by the right games. And right now it's a credit game. In China, they have something called a social credit score. 
Did y'all know that? Look this up. China social credit score. Look that up. What it means is, let's say it, it's bigger than credit with them. It's also about that it ties in everything. It ties in how you performed in school. It ties in how good of a parent you are. It ties in, all, it, it, and it affects your ability to travel. If you don't have a good social credit score, you can't even get a plane. You can't get on the plane. You can't leave the country. You can't do nothing because you have a bad social credit score. Now, you think about it. Think about it, people. Because China, if you think about it, we get most of our imports from where? China. We get a lot of our legislation is affected by what? China. And one thing I don't want to salute him because he's trying to separate some of our ties from China because what they do there affects what we do here. So if they got a social credit score, think about how long it's going to take. Think about how long it's going to take for us to get to the point where if you don't have a 650 credit, you can't fly. What if somebody told you you can't get a passport because you got poor credit? Y'all, it's happening before our eyes. Because we're in this connection-based economy, now we can actually see that. But guess what? They can actually see us as well. So you got to fix things. You got to get all of your equity together. You got to get things to where cash is flowing to you and not from you. When I talk to couples, and I might as well be a certified financial planner, but I'm not. But I let them, I had to add up all the bills that they're going out. How many accounts do you have going out? Me and our household, I think we have about close to 20 accounts that are going out. Now, most people have the same thing, but how many accounts do they have coming in? One, maybe two. Now, if you were a business, if you were a business and you had 20 customers paying you, that's money coming in, that's 20 streams coming in, boom. Wouldn't you think that you were in a good spot? Especially if you only have four bills going out. You had to pay the light cable, advertising bill, and salary. You got five accounts going out and 20 accounts coming in. Don't you think you're in a good spot? It don't even matter how much anyone's paying because all you can do, all you got to do is just raise what they're paying. Just be like, look, uh, you know, in two months we're raising up everybody's subscription by a dollar. Ain't that what next Netflix did? How many people got a Netflix account when it was only three dollars <laughs> or four dollars right then they give you something premium and they're like look if you want access to that same thing you got to pay fifteen dollars now so if you got a million subscribers and you raise their their cost by even two dollars you just brought in an extra two million dollars but you can't do that if you don't got no accounts receivable I know, I'm, I know I'm just walking through this neighborhood, man. People looking at me like, yo, that kid be walking down spitting that knowledge, right? You ain't got no accounts receivable in your household. You're supposed to be running your household like a business. You're supposed to be teaching your kids how to, exp how to do expenses and how to write stuff off on their taxes. You're supposed to be teaching your kids how to budget the checkbook. But it's more than just budgeting and balancing the checkbook. It's about budgeting and balancing your total household as a business. Why do you have only two accounts coming in? That's two jobs, by the way. Wife got a job, husband got a job. Maybe husband got two jobs, maybe wife got two jobs. But two, usually people have two income streams. I'm here to help you get another one. I'm here to help you get another income stream coming in at least one more. Because it's to a point where half of the mortgages could have been uh, avoided as far as uh, when the ones that went into foreclosure. I think they said like 70 or 90 percent, actually. It's one of those figures where if they only had an extra five hundred dollars. What's up, Shay? Who good vibes only captain and CEO. What's up, my good guy? Man, I've known these people for years. Like I'm, I'm going on decades knowing some of the top plugs in the city. That's why people rock with me. They know I'm only here to help. But listen, only five hundred dollars would have saved. I think it was 90 percent of the mortgages. And I'm here to help people at least get the 250. I can help you get the 250 by next week. 250 dollars a month coming in residually. Okay. Now, if you if you don't know what a residual is, think about what artists get. As soon as the radio comes on, and you hear your favorite jam, that artist is going to get paid a few cents. Now, that artist is getting paid there. Have you ever went to a ne another radio station and heard the same song playing? Absolutely. 
<laughs> so think about that's happening all over the world. That artist probably is making one to two grand a day because of a song they made one time. So what if you were able to find a way to keep getting paid for doing one thing one time without having to sing and dance and chuck and jive and pop and lock and you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, no, no disrespect to my people that do that for a living, but not everybody is going to be a talented musician out here. You know, some people got to be business minded people. Right? Just like my man Malik. What's up, millionaire? Thanks for checking us out. So, this right here is just a broadcast. Just to let y'all know, man, we live in the best of times, but you got to take advantage of this connection economy. You got to get in here and get to where you can earn money virally. Okay? The best people, the, be the people that, that make the best money, you don't even know that you're paying them. That's unstoppable wealth right there. That's people when, when, let's say whenever you buy a shoe from Nike, you don't, you don't know all the people that own the stock in Nike. <laughs> you can't stop their paycheck because they're getting paid when you participate in the economy. Think about that. What's up, Gustavo? What's up, Ish? Come on, link up with me, Ish. Hey, we made some good money a few years ago and you went and hide. Then you went to hide. Come on, <laughs> let's get this money again, girl. Uh, Oliver, what's up? All right, so um, so that's it. That's it. I got more information for y'all, but definitely hit my inbox because we have an event going on tonight, a presentation going on tonight. Somebody's going to be this much closer to actually hitting 250 rank. Why did I say 250? Why focus on 50? Because it's an attainable goal that I can help you get to. It's only by building a team of 12. That's three people that get three people. That's a team of 12, and now you earn $250 a month residually. That's every four months, it's $1,000 coming into your bank account. Okay, the only way, of course, you can make money just by a hustle, selling one thing and getting a reward. I'm going to teach you how to get residual, get paid on a residual basis, a monthly basis. Stop, do it one time, set it and forget it, right? That's where, that's where the money's at. The money is not in the hustle. The money is in the business system. And if you can get a business system for only $60, you holding yourself back. What's up, Brandon? Brandon, no. Brandon was on that boat in Miami. Brandon, no. He know we really out here. What's up, Albert? Mr. Johnson, how you doing? But he know we really are out here getting it. It ain't no faking. It ain't no fronting. It ain't no pitch. It's just passion, like my wife say, you know? So I just want y'all to get, stop being scared of money. Because just like you heard, it costs $400 to be a licensed insurance agent. It costs about $400 to be a real estate agent. You know, if you want to be an artist, a rapper, a producer, whatever, you want to have to spend several hundred dollars on the studio equipment. If you want to be a, a, a painter, you got to buy the paint. You got to buy the aerosol. You got to buy the canvas. If you want to be a videographer, you got to buy the video equipment, the camera. Hit up Jasmine. She know about that. A photographer. You know what I'm saying? You got to invest something. And in this business, all you have to do invest in is the website. <laughs> That's what the sixty dollars go for. It just pays for your web hosting, and now you're in business. You earn a seventy-five dollars every time you make a credit sale and help somebody get a house. You see the shirt say "Dadpreneur," right? Let's make some. Let's make some. All right, Port City, I'm out. Thank you all for entertaining me. I hope this information was helpful for you. Let's grind. Let's get it. Remember, you got money, and you can find me at JerryGoins.com if you want to join the squad. JerryGoins.com if you want to join the squad. No questions asked. Just get in. Let's go. All right, Tiff. What's up? What's up, TJ? Catch the replay. Catch the replay. I went in. Oh, so much knowledge. Let's, let's go, y'all. Peace.